Hey Collider fans, John Roca here. Before we start this video, let me warn you that it contains Avengers Endgame spoilers, so this is your last chance to stop, go see the movie, and then come on back here. Okay? Here we go. Avengers Endgame absolutely blew the doors off the box office this weekend and left many people surprised by how much drawing power the film actually had. The film was also chock full of surprises itself. One of the biggest ones was how Captain America was able to wield Mjolnir during the final battle with Thanos. Many fans are now scratching their heads after they clapped their hands off in that moment, wondering how this was possible. Well, sit back, put on your Captain America Shield t-shirt, and let us clear up this mystery for you. Now, you remember that in Avengers Age of Ultron, Cap was able to nudge Thor's hammer a little bit, which caused the God of Thunder and the other Avengers to pause for a moment. It was the first indication that he might be worthy enough to wield Mjolnir someday, but not at that moment. Maybe he didn't want to embarrass Thor, or maybe there was an issue with Captain America's worth. We will revisit this in just a little bit. Let's look at the question of worthiness to wield Thor's hammer first. Remember that Odin enchanted the hammer in the MCU so that only the purely worthy can wield Mjolnir, and when they do, they have access to the full power of Thor through the hammer. Odin put this enchantment on the hammer in 2011's Thor after Thor arrogantly committed an act of war that could have cost numerous lives. He eventually proved himself worthy by the end of the film and won his hammer back when he was willing to Hercules this bleep and sacrifice himself for the one or ones he loved. He extended this newfound desire to sacrifice himself for others in the sequel, Thor The Dark World, when he fought off Malekith and fought to save the Nine Realms. In the comics, Captain America has wielded Mjolnir on two occasions. One of those occurred when he had walked away from being Captain America and was known as just the Captain. It occurred in the Mighty Thor number 390 as he fought alongside Thor against Seth, the Egyptian god of death and Seth's armies. During a heated moment in battle, Thor was thunderously knocked down, causing him to lose Mjolnir. The Captain picked it up and wielded it as he decimated some bad guys before flinging it back to Thor. The second time Captain America wielded it in the comics was in the two 2011 Fear Itself storyline as Captain America. Thor had been killed by his evil Uncle the Serpent, and Cap grabbed Mjolnir and summoned the lightning, as you do, and decimated villains left and right on the battlefield. Now, let's take a look at that scene in Avengers Age of Ultron. As we noted, Captain America was only able to nudge the hammer with one hand, and in the next moment, he uses both hands to try to move it, but to no avail. So, it doesn't seem like he's worried about Thor's feelings in that moment. So what then? A popular fan theory and one I co-sign is that it's because he is not fully worthy yet. So why would that be? Well, remember in Captain America the Winter Soldier, Cap learned that Bucky was the one who killed Tony Stark's parents. He doesn't tell Tony once he finds out, preferring instead to defend his old friend Bucky, who had obviously been under mind control. Cap doesn't come clean until the end of Captain America Civil War, when Tony sees the video for himself of Bucky's crime. Cap finally confesses to hiding this fact from Tony. Tony is devastated and angry as hell, which leads to one of the best two-on-one battles you'll ever see on screen. But. It also restores Cap's worthiness because he has taken responsibility for his withholding the truth from Tony in order to protect Bucky. He accepts responsibility, and he is now worthy again. If we have learned anything about the MCU, it's that being able to stand up for others is a big part of your worthiness as a hero, and that allows you to wield Mjolnir when the moment is right. And that moment came in Avengers Endgame, when Thor was about to get destroyed by Thanos. Thanos was knocked to the ground by a Mjolnir-wielding Captain America, who proceeded to put a whoopin on that mad time. Titan, much to our cheering delight. There's another time in the comics where Captain America wielded Mjolnir, but that was during Secret Empire, and the less said of that moment, the better. Okay, hopefully we've cleared it up for you why and how Cap was able to wield Mjolnir like a badass in Avengers Endgame and give that mad Titan all he could handle during their battle at the end of the movie. Let us know if we missed anything in the comments section below. Remember to like and share this video on your social media and to subscribe to the channel for more Avengers Endgame videos just like this one.